Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. Two local candidates are already throwing their hats in the ring after the longest serving member of Erie County's legislative delegation says he's retiring. Brian Wilk spoke with the two candidates today, hoping to replace Kurt Sonny, who's represented the 4th District since 2004. Brian? That's right, Sean. The position has been occupied by Kurt Sonny since 2004, and it's no surprise that the two new candidates are both Republicans. The 4th District is a relatively safe Republican zone. That's what Mercyhurst political science professor Joe Morris says. In the coming years, it appears that that's not going to change at all. Uh, the likelihood that we'll see a Democrat, a Democrat elected from this di district is very slim. He says the fact that Kurt Sonny held the position for 18 years is remarkable. George H.W. Bush, uh, the 41st president of the United States, once said that when it comes to governing in a democracy, a dictatorship would undoubtedly be easier. The fact that uh, a representative managed to get 18 years of public service in and survive that with the reputation that he has, I think is really commendable. Republican Greg Hayes, who ran in 2020 against Ryan Bizarro, is looking to take over for Kurt Sonny in 2022. Once he decided to resign, obviously we want to keep conservative normal thought in this area and try to bring some new growth and new jobs into this area. Joe Kinsella is also eyeing the position. I'm growing up with my family, a homeless shelter, just helping people, and I know politics is about making laws and legislating, but it comes down to helping people, um, and always just been interested in my local community. Joe Moore says most people in the state of PA seem to think having a more balanced district is better. The 4th Legislative District includes most of eastern Erie County, and Kurt Sonny will officially retire at the end of the 21-22 legislative session. Sean. Uh, Brian Wilk in the control room tonight. Thank you, Brian.